Shudum in honor of Saint Anur Jansen. Day 1. Saint Anur Jansen, a person who turns challenges into opportunities. We are going through the most difficult times in the history of humankind due to the spread of coronavirus and its continuous mutations. Every day we hear only the news of deaths loss and sufferings. A new normal will hopefully be emerging soon. With the love and respect for the past, we as a community of believers face our new beginnings with anticipation, optimism, enthusiasm and care for each other, creating our own new normal. When we reflect on challenging times, suffering or loss, in and through the life and mission of St. Anur Jansen, we can find insight into how these experiences can impact our life and faith. As we begin the Tridum in honor of St. Anur Jansen, let us draw inspirations from his life and mission and pray through his powerful intercession for love and compassion to reabound in our lives as we walk through these challenging times. When St. Anur Jansen approached Archbishop Melchers of Cologne in 1875 to support the foundation of a German mission house to train missionaries to go to foreign missions, the Archbishop responded, we live in a time when everything seems to be shaking and sinking. Now you are coming and want to start something new. Father Arnold replied, we live in a time when much is collapsing and new things must be established in their place. Prayer always had a profound significance in Saint Anur Jansen's life. It enabled him to see beyond his own human inadequacies to be strong in the face of setbacks and misunderstandings, to give up securities and to take up new challenges. The conviction that it was not me but the Lord was the focus around which is life and activity. intercessions for all who have lost their lives your response lord have mercy lord have mercy for all those who are dying lord have mercy for all those who are sick lord have mercy for all those who are suffering lord have mercy for all those who are suffering from physical and emotional abuse lord have mercy for all those who are suffering due to unjust policies, Lord have mercy. For all those who are struggling with physical and mental disabilities, Lord have mercy. For all those who are overwhelmed by anxiety and stress, Lord have mercy. For all those who are lonely, Lord have mercy. For all families that are separated, Lord have mercy. For all those who have survived, Lord have mercy. For all those who have lost their spouses, Lord have mercy. For peace in our city and in our country, your response, bless us, O Lord. Bless us, O Lord. 
for renewed friendships among neighbors. Bless, Bless us, us, O Lord. Lord. For solidarity and unity among all peoples. Bless, Bless us, us, O Lord. Lord. For a greater appreciation and love for all humanity. Bless, Bless us, us, O Lord. Lord. For patience and perseverance. Bless, Bless us, us, O Lord. Lord. For calm in the midst of fear. Bless, Bless us, us, O Lord. Lord. For the grace to overcome adversity. Bless, Bless us, us, O Lord. Lord. For generosity of spirit. Bless, Bless us, us, O Lord. Lord. For the hope in times of despair. Bless, Bless us, us, O Lord. Lord. For light in the darkness. Bless, Bless us, us, O Lord. Lord. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, the greatest physician, we invoke your blessings through the intercession of Saint Arnold Jansen to stay by our side in this time of uncertainty and sorrow. Be with those who have died from the coronavirus and its different variants. May they be at rest with you in your eternal peace. Be with the families of those who are sick or have died. As they worry and grieve, defend them from illness and despair. Amen. <laughs>